Welcome back to part two of the seven ounce uh, gold refining video. Here's our gold, safe and sound. But if you look back here, I was trying to get ahead of the curve and I uh, turned the heat up on low and was gonna let these cook overnight. When I went in to get some rest, this one here did fine, but something happened on this side. The temperature uh, regulating device malfunctioned and that thing overheated actually melted this off. And when I came out to check this morning on this, you can see it cracked the silver jar. I've got some metallic silver down in the bottom of the uh, Corel dish here. And uh, it boiled all of the liquid off of this uh, silver jar. This is a perfect example of why we shouldn't uh, leave reactions unattended. I turned this down on low and uh, evidently we had a runaway heat uh, regula regulation. Oh, I can't even get the lid off, man. It's glued on there. So I don't know what's going to be in this silver pot. It's cracked, as you can see. And uh, what we'll have to do now is I was going to put some silver refining in this video of our seven troy ounce gold bar but I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna skip that now I'm just gonna get this cleaned up it's probably about 10 or 15 troy ounces of gold in that or silver rather in that uh, silver jar that's lost but that's how it goes lesson learned don't leave reactions unattended got a clean five gallon bucket here what we're going to do now is uh, reach up here and grab this dish. I'm just going to transfer stick it right, right down into this five gallon bucket now. I'll add some distilled water now. We'll try to dissolve out whatever silver we can out of here. Just let this uh, soak with the still water and then I'll try to get the silver out, whatever I can. All right, I'm gonna grab the, uh, the other silver jar down here. This one is not a problem, but it did get a bunch of uh, silver spattered on the side there. So I'm gonna try to rinse this off into our bucket. All right, I think we got most of the silver rinsed off of the outside of this jar. All right, there was some silver in here that got baked on. We'll rinse that down into our uh, bucket as well. All right, I've got some silver in here on the hot plate. We'll scrape that down into the uh, bucket. Look at that, man temperature sensing device the control knob got so hot it just melted that off so we're gonna go ahead and try to get this little bit of silver here down into our uh, bucket all right I've got that all off of there now this uh, heater is gonna be trash so we'll get rid of that let's look down in here and see what we got inside this jar now that I can get the lid off I think And we'll just let this soak in this uh, water. And then I'll try to recover this later. I'm not gonna mess with this no more for this video. Just set this, put a lid on it, set it off to the side and let it dissolve. And then I'll recover that silver out of there, whatever I can later on. We're gonna begin here by pouring off this water into my silver jar off of the gold it's just rinse water this has been setting in all night I'm gonna grab a sample here and we're gonna do some tests on this water 
for right now we'll just pour the rest of it off into this silver jar all right I've got all the water poured off what we'll do now is I'm gonna set this back out of the way and what we'll do is test our uh, rinse water here with some hydrochloric acid I'm gonna test it for the presence of silver if I've got silver in here I'll form a cloud of silver chloride with this hydrochloric acid and I don't see any reaction at all to go ahead and dissolve the gold now what I'll do is add some hydrochloric acid I'm gonna add about uh, now this is gonna be over seven tray ounces of gold so I'm gonna add fill it up to the one liter mark here with hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid to precipitate out any lead that may be present in here it's about two and a half milliliters of sulfuric acid I'm gonna measure out some nitric acid in this beaker down here and uh, let's see I'm gonna put about 75 milliliters in this 250 milliliter it's beaker about 75 milliliters I'm gonna pour half of it into the uh, gold mixture here to form aqua regia in the beaker now what we'll do is mix this up and put it up on our heat and let this start to dissolve this is about one hour's worth of footage condensed into a few seconds and you can watch as the uh, nitric gets consumed you can tell when that happens as those fumes clear up in the beaker and then what we're going to do here is i'm going to add the rest of the nitric acid few doses at a time until I get the entire 75 milliliter uh, shot of nitric that I uh, measured out into the beaker to try to get all of the gold to go into solution. I'm going to reach in here and grab the beaker and we're going to look at the bottom and see how much more gold needs to be dissolved and as you can see there it's not much it's got a few little pieces down in the bottom down there so I think we pretty much got it that was uh, one liter of hydrochloric acid and about 75 milliliters of nitric acid to get seven tray ounces of gold to go into solution it took about hour and a half to dissolve every bit of the gold as you can see we've gotten it all to go into solution now I'm gonna add some ice we're gonna dilute the solution and cool it down at the same time with some ice cubes the ice cubes are made from distilled water I've got the solution diluted cooled down now what we're gonna do is uh, filter it out I'm using a number 42 ashless filter paper these uh, filters seem to do real well at filtering out very fine particulate well we finally caught a break that filtrate is looking outstanding nice and clear uh, I 
think this is going to be some high purity gold with just one pass. Looks like we've got some solids on the bottom of the uh, beaker there. That's okay. I think we'll be able to get that filtered out. That number 42 ashless filter paper seems to do a way better job at filtering out fine particulate uh, over the regular filter papers that I usually use. We've got everything pulled to the filter now. What I'm going to do is put our filter on a different flask here and we'll rinse it out down into this small flask. Uh, what I do not want to do is dissolve any of the silver chloride that might be stuck in this filter by rinsing it down into our main solution. So I'm going to rinse it into this flask and then I'll probably add this liquid down here is going to contain some gold. I'll put it in another container and precipitate it separately. Let's pour our solution into this big beaker. It's full of ice. The ice is made from distilled water. Here we go. We're going to put stump out in our solution now. Stump out is sodium metabisulfite. Here we go. Here goes the first spoon. Let's get zoomed in on this thing. Here we go. First spoon going in right now. Boom. Give it a little stir here. I'm going to keep going with the stump out. I can see some uh, yellow color in there, which tells me we still have gold in solution. Looking for that white foam to develop on top of our solution. That's how I can tell when we've got all the gold precipitated out, when I see that nice white head of foam starting to form on top of the solution. There we go. We're starting to see some foam. See that foam going there? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Right there, that head of foam. That's how I can tell when we're close to having everything precipitated out of our solution. I should do it. I've got a glass rod. I'm going to stick it in here and give it a stir. You can see where the gold is down there. It's piled up about an inch thick on the bottom of the beaker. On a piece of filter paper. Put a drop of stannous chloride on it. Make sure we've got all the gold dropped out of our solution. And as you can see by that stannous test, I've got a little tint of color to it, which probably means we've got some platinum group metals in our solution. I'm gonna pour off the waste 
into this waste container and we're gonna rinse our solution or our uh, gold here now with some hydrochloric acid after I get this waste solution poured off into this container now what I'll do is multiple small rinses with hydrochloric acid to try to rinse the dissolved metals off of the gold I've rinsed the gold about 10 or 12 times with hydrochloric acid I've had about uh, four quarts of hot water through it now and I got it nice and clean and what we'll do is try to get this now into a melt dish and uh, get this melted up into a, a bar here we go we're gonna put the gold down here in a melt dish as best I can I don't know if all this is gonna fit in here and I think that's about it we ain't gonna get the rest of this in there okay we can get started here I'll uh, fire up these torches and when the gold uh, shrinks down a little bit maybe we'll take it back over to the uh, fume hood and add a little bit more gold powder to it bring in the acetylene torch here try to get that gold sponge heated up to where it shrinks a little bit here this is going to be highly unusual uh, this is a little bit more than I'm used to uh, working with I'm used to working with one to three or four tray ounces of metal and we got seven ounces here so I'm out of my uh, capacity to do this correctly so we're just gonna make do with what we got finally starting to get it to shrink down a little bit as you can see I think I've got it down to a manageable size now what we'll do is go ahead and secure the torch and let this cool back down My goodness that gold looks just my goodness that gold looks beautiful just like it is right there I know this is highly irregular but it's the only way I can think of to uh, get all of the gold in here at once let me put a little piece in see what's gonna happen all right that's not bad I think that's gonna work okay a little bit of spattering there I think we're gonna be all right though get the rest of this down in there huh how many times you get to see this back over here to the melt table put it back down and fire up the torch
if you notice there I'm heating up the 5 ounce cavity of that mold I should have been heating up the 10 ounce cavity right behind it and then I would have been able to fit the entire uh, charge of gold into the uh, one cavity instead now I'm gonna have to make two bars I sure can't tell that I'm losing proficiency. I picked the wrong cavity to pour the uh, gold into. But here we go. Two bars of pure gold. Let's see what we got here. We got 224.7 grams. That's 7.225 troy ounces and I've said it before and I'll say it again there is nothing and I mean nothing like the look and feel of pure gold in the palm of your hand all right this will conclude part two of the seven troy ounce bar refining thanks for watching